whip, whip, whip. Steak mixed with the shrimp. Whip, 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 whip. Ball of light shine. All right, welcome back, everyone, to another episode. This one's a little different today. Um, we are playing Russian Fishing 4. Um, I saw this game on Steam. This was also free. Um, I'm not a huge fisherman in life. I'm not going to lie. I grew up with my dad, uh, my amazing father. He, he's a huge fisherman. I love him for it. Or an angler, as, uh, as y'all fishermen like to call him, call yourselves. Um, and being that my father uh, is a huge fisherman, I saw this game. It was free, had good graphics, and I said, you know what? I'm going to play this game. Um, love my dad. He taught me fishing. Uh, we'd go fishing all the time as a kid. As I've gotten older um, in, in life, I haven't followed suit with my father. It's one of my kind of, I guess you could say, my biggest regrets in, in life thus far is not following suit after my dad. And in his absolutely love for fishing or absolute love for fishing um i prefer i don't know what it is i guess patience is a virtue i haven't yet mastered yet so um it's one of these things for me i i still i still love to fish but it's just a different experience for me because i just for some reason sit down a boat for like seven hours and you know, not really uh, catch anything is a little unique for me. So, anyways, getting into the Russian fishing for, um, we just got our, it, it took me like, no joke, it took me about 20 minutes to figure out how to add the bait and the hook and um, obviously our little bobber there um, to the pole. I, I could not for the life of me figure it out. You have to go into the the rod itself which it's not a rod it's a stick so i couldn't add a reel to this to, unfortunately so it's just a stick um and so yeah you have to i i figured out finally how to mess with the uh the depth that you wanted obviously you're moving your your waiter up there or your bobber um so that the depth of the the bait um goes down and they want it to be in meters i couldn't switch this over to our our system um in terms of us so it wasn't in feet or anything like that it was it was in in meters and kilometers so uh but anyways we figured out how to do it it told us to cast over here in this area we casted we sit we sat here we waited oh the fish went under the bobber went under so we pulled back and boom we caught our first fish i was excited you know so we caught a little gibber carp uh not entirely sure what the hell a gibber carp is so i know a carp um, and the carp necessarily doesn't look like that. Uh, that kind of looks like a little bass to me, but not like the greenness scales of the bass. Uh, there are, there are white bass out there, but anyways, we caught that. Um, we had to go sell the fish and then we kind of went on our, we said, oh, well, screw it. Let's go and get a boat. So as you can see, we just bought our boat ticket. Um, we got into our little, um, our boat that we have going on right now and, just right now and figuring out what spot we want to sit at. Um, one thing I will tell you about this game uh, that I am phenomenally pleased with. Phenomenally pleased. I'm not sure a, a pleased is actually a word. Phenomenally pleased with is the graphics. Um, look at the damn graphics in this game. It are, they are phenomenal. If you are a fisherman or an angler out there, you will love this game simply because of the graphics itself. Um... Now, I didn't get a chance. I, I played this game for about an hour and a half. Um, a lot of it's repetitive. Obviously, it's fishing. Um, but it was a little different. Um, it, 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 I didn't get a, put a chance to put a reel on, uh, whether it was just a regular, you know, thumb reel or, um, you know, like a, a spin reel, if you will. Like I'm, I'm accustomed to using spin reels now, but I grew up using a thumb reel, you know, with, with my dad and just kind of throwing her out there. So um, you can stand up on your boat, and that was the clothes that I was wearing. You can sit down, those trolling motors. Um, I tried to troll for a little bit, and it just it didn't work out very well. It was trolling too fast, so I couldn't set the speed of my troll. But uh, So that was kind of uh, tiresome, if you will. But... I fished for a while. Um, 
in different spots. I moved around a lot to see what can I do to move around and fish. Um, because this is a like a, a just a stick that I didn't really figure out until like playing the game for 45 minutes that you couldn't really cast it very well. So I kept on like trying to angle it upwards and and move and and try to do different things to throw it in there like you would normally do when you're fishing. You know, cock it back and spin it or or side throw it in there. It just depends, right? Um, couldn't figure it out. Um, right now I'm kind of trolling right now and and I just. I don't know, like he couldn't really set the the troll. And then I, I figured out, well, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to stop the engine. I'm going to throw down the anchor. Um, and even if you didn't throw down the anchor, you know, you don't move. Um, I tested it out for about five minutes and you, you don't even move. It's, it's, so that was unusual to me. So, because typically when you're on a water and there's a little bit of wind and I didn't really tell if there was wind or not while playing the game, to be honest with you. I'm assuming there was a wind factor somewhere. Um, the boat never moved. It never drifted, if you will. Um, and that was kind of confusing to me. So the, um, the hard part about the game, I guess, at first was the fact that, um, you know, I, I tried like five different spots and sat there for a while. Couldn't catch a fish. Unfortunately, with this reel, um, or this rod, excuse me, um, you, because there was no reel on it, you couldn't throw it. You couldn't cast the damn line. So you had to use your ability, your stick ability, if you will, to throw this thing. And it didn't go very far, so it was really frustrating. So maybe choosing the boat right off the bat was probably the, the not a good idea, and I probably should have just you know, stayed on the bank somewhere. And as you can tell, like I'm trying to like cock it back and throw it, and I'm not really figuring it out too much in terms of the game. Um, but... The graphic qualities of the game are great. Um, obviously, you can see the reflection of the water is perfect. Um, the grass, I mean, you know, wh what can you say? I mean, it's good kind of swamp grassy. There's lily pads. There was flowers. I mean, there was uh, logs. Um, I didn't find, I didn't necessarily get stuck or snagged at all uh, where I had to cut my line. But, um, you know, for, for the most part, I mean, the bobber, you get to zoom in a lot. Just like to take a look at it. Um, it, it. It, the waves rippled or the water rippled, if you will, when you're playing the game, it goes under properly. You know, you can feel, you don't feel like, obviously you can't feel the nibble. So you have to look at your bobber to see if it's, the, it's nibbling or not. Um, so I'm, I'm actually curious to get back in the game, um, try out some, you know, I, I've got to catch, that's the whole part about the game. It's a, it's a grind. Uh, the, the only thing about this game, if you look on the reviews, phenomenal graphics, um, and everything, but the grind is real. Apparently, people were saying, okay, if you ever played a Korean MMO game, um, and you have to grind and grind and grind and kill, like, 10,000 fucking monsters to get to the next level, well, this game is worse than that. So, I'm literally on level one with, like, what is that, um, a quarter of the way in? Not even a quarter of the way in. And I, I only caught one fish. Or I think by now I maybe have caught in two fish. So it was like, oh, my God. I, 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 I can't, I'm like yawning just looking at myself, record this video, uh, or, or talk back um, uh, recording this video. So it was like it, it got so like, oh, my God. The fish were not biting. Nothing was happening. And, and like finally after a while, I see the bobber go down and I'm like, okay, yes, we got a fish. We got a fish. Grab it. I'm trying to like hook it. And then you just like pull it back and boom. You know, I think it was a little piggy perch or something like that. Yeah, it's just a little perch. So um, it, it, it was a little different. I tried out using different baits. There's different hotkeys for that. But it, it, it got a little weird. Um, like it, I don't want to say weird. It just it got to the point to be completely honest with you, where the game got boring uh, because it, 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 the grind was so real. Um, you got to catch a bunch of fish, and then you got to go sell fish. And then when you sell the fish that you catch, I think that's the only way to make money. I'm assuming there could be some fishing tournaments and stuff like that where you have you know, 12 hours to go out in a boat and catch a bunch of fish and try to come back with the, you know, whether it's largest or longest fish or biggest stringer or whatever it may be. But... Um, but anyways, I, 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 the one thing I liked about the game, which reminded me of my dad, um, was the fact that the graphics were so intense. Uh, they, were, they were amazing graphics. Um, in Ohio, there's a reservoir that my father and I uh, would go to a lot. 
um, as a child and, and as an adult as well, where, you know, we would sit out in the lake and just fish. Uh, as you get older, you drink some beer or whatnot, but um, younger it was Kool-Aid or, or orange soda or whatever I used to have. I can't remember. Um, I think we would do like A&W root beer or some type of pop. I, I, I can't remember, but, um, or Coke or wherever the, wherever in you in the world, a soda pop, Coke, something like that. I call it pop. I mean, I grew up calling it pop, but anyways, um, yeah, the game, it kind of just dragged on and dragged on and dragged on and dragged on and dragged on. So, um, that flicking sound you hear right there is a flashlight. So it was like kind of whatever, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is the game. Um, the graphics, the quality, um, the realism in terms of moving things around worked really, really well. Um, here I'm kind of just moving my, my rod around, but, or my stick, but it was kind of like, God, man, like I'm not catching anything. So, um, I switched back to a worm here to see if that helps any, but it really didn't help. I literally drove around the rest of this damn lake and couldn't find a damn thing. So that's the one thing I'll say is a flaw of the game as an entry level person, give someone who's an entry, like, okay, when you go to fish for the first time, you usually, as a kid, right? You know, you're fishing with your dad. They have a rod and reel for you, right? I mean, like, they have a setup for you. Or if you go out and you want to fish with friends, they have a setup for you. Like, give the the newbie a, a decent setup to where they can actually fish and not have to use a fucking stick. It's, I mean, you have a great game. You know, whoever made Rushing Fishing 4, I didn't look up who made it. But this is a great game. The qualities are good. I mean, the, the realism's good. But come on, guys. Like, this stupid stick sucks. Give us some spinner baits. Give us something else. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, tell us what, Tell us a little bit about the, the water that we in. I mean, where are we at in the country? I mean, I don't think this is – I mean, if this is Russian Fishing 4, I mean, I guess we're in Russia. It doesn't look like Russia, to be honest with you. But then again, I don't know what Russia looks like. Obviously, we think Russia, we think freezing cold – all the flipping time but um obviously the world cup is going on right now and you know people are in long sleeves but they're it's not snow everywhere you know what i mean it's it's summer so but anyways um for the most part the game i, I give this game like a, i give this game a five so far uh for one the grind is crazy um the five comes literally from graphics the quality of the graphics, the quality of the ripple effect, the quality of um, not necessarily catching the fish because with this stick, you literally just pull back. So it wasn't really that much fun. But I'm hoping with the, when, I, when I get a reel, I'm able to actually reel in so it will become more realistic for me. Um, I'm not sure why the bobber didn't sit properly. And I tried adjusting the, uh, the length, if you will, of the depth of the, from the bobber to the line to the bottom. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure really what it was that was different. I'm hoping that um, we're going to be able to change and, and take this bobber off, put some weights on it, and, and you have some spinner bait or something to put on there so that obviously you throw the weights down, the, the weights land on the bottom of the water. I didn't get a depth reading anywhere, and I, I didn't, honestly, I didn't really check. So, I, you know, usually you want to figure out, okay, where are you at on the lake? How deep is it? What kind of fish are going to be there? Because obviously it's different fishing for bass than you're fishing for walleye or if you're fishing for redfish or flounder or, you know, bluegill or sunfish. I mean, everything's different. So, um, and obviously baits are different too. So, I mean, I didn't really get that much information off the bat. They kind of, the game just kind of like landed you in there. So it's a little different. Um, I caught a fish. I literally catch a fish. And I, maybe the fish is dead by now, but I couldn't grab the fish because I didn't have a net which really pissed me off because I, I mean, okay, so the fish wasn't dead. It, I, it pissed me off. I'm literally typing. I'm going. I look up on Google. Um, I waited, obviously, to the nighttime, and I caught this fish, which I, it looks to be a decent-sized fish, um, you know, something that's like, you know, 10 inches or so like that. I don't know what it is. But, uh, yeah, I'm in game right now. I'm like, screw it. And I'm actually talking to my wife in the background like, babe, I can't catch this fish. Like, I can't do it. And there's there was a net. I just didn't have it. I didn't buy it. So I'm like, you know, screw it. I'm going back inside. I stayed up to, like, um, obviously in game. You know, it's like whatever time it is, 6 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. I can't remember. I can't see right here when I'm doing the recording on the video. But, 
you know, I'm like, ah, screw it. I'm going back inside. So that was my experience, Russian Fishing 4. I, I give this game a 5 so far. I mean, graphics and everything is great. But you cannot go and start a game and give someone no one. Uh, or give no, don't give anyone nothing. But anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share. I appreciate your time. Have a very blessed day, guys. Whip, 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 whip. Steak mixed with the shrimp. Whip, 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 whip. Ball like Sean Kemp.